Hello friends, welcome. I'm in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, I'm going to visit Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies. I'm glad you're here. I purchased a ticket to the aquarium. This ticket gets me into two other Ripley's owned attractions in the area. And also it gets me into the Skylift. I bought a ticket for all four places right here at the ticket office for the aquarium. Pretty convenient. Hello. All right. As soon as you walk in, there's this big aquarium, kids area, a Santa photo op, and then the entrance into the tropical rainforest. This aquarium is packed. There's a lot of people scurrying around this place, checking out all these cool fish, all these giant aquariums. They even have a display showing their systems control center and how they take care of all the water for the fish. They go to quite a great extent to explain how they keep all that water clean. It's almost fish feeding time. I haven't been to too many aquariums in my day, I have to admit. This one's set up interesting. There's just a maze of aisleways you go through and in each different section there's a different fish. Or bones of a different fish. That is huge. Turns out it's a humpback whale. Big boy. Time to visit the coral reef. These are seahorses and cowfish. I like these cowfish. They're pretty cool looking. Santa is a scuba diver? Look at that. Hey, check it out, Santa. He's a diver. I didn't even know this. <laughs> Christmas at the aquarium. That was fun. Speaking of Christmas at the aquarium, that's a large elf. You need a very large and sturdy shelf for that one. Large tree root system with an aquarium in the top and this thing cave in the bottom. I'm so curious what it is. It's just like an opening. There's nothing here. That's fun. This aquarium is above my head. Pretty neat to look up there and watch the fishes. It's going and going. spider crab that looks absolutely terrifying no thank you it's like an alien this thing's like four feet across can you imagine a herd of these things crawling after you if you're scuba diving no thanks what are you looking at there that's what i thought you got a staring problem yeah I guess you do. That's all right. Curious creatures. Let's see what this is. We have a photo op here. I love doing these things, but it's hard to do when you're by yourself. Yeah, 
and I didn't bring my tripod to take part in such things because I'm just walking around all day and exploring and it's cumbersome to have that tripod with me. But if I could, I would get a photo in that. This exhibit takes you around the world and shows you some interesting fish, marine life, from all the different parts. It's not just fish, it's also snakes and other critters as well. Some wildlife from Africa here. Like a lot of other attractions here in Gatlinburg, this is a Ripley-owned attraction. And some history about Robert Ripley that I did not know. The first Believe It or Not cartoon was published on December 19, 1980. Robert Ripley was a cartoonist and he wrote cartoons four sketches a day from 7 in the morning until 11 in the morning, making 56,000 different cartoon sketches. He had a reach of over 80 million people in many, many countries. He was in 24 films. He did all kinds of stuff. And this is all before cell phones and YouTube or any of that existed. He found a way to be unique. Back to the fish. If you're hungry, you can go to the feeding frenzy. Just look for the yellow submarine. In the food court. While you're eating, you can enjoy the beautiful views of giant mantra. Hey, buddy. Chill penguins. I think this one's asleep, actually. Like, ultimately chill. Hey, wake up. Hey, buddy. How's your day going in there? Uh, doing some swimming, hanging out, some good, good food there. Have some neat events here at the aquarium. Pints and penguins are. Sips and Sharks at 21 plus sleepover. That sounds real fun. I just found something very cool. Underneath this is a crawl space where you can crawl in on your hands and knees. <laughs> oh, cool. All right. And I'm in it. Like next to all of these penguins. I'm in the tube. Nelson. That's what his name tag says. There's Joe. Luke is back there. Well, friends, I'm Dre. It's good to meet you all. Thanks for letting me into your home. It's very kind. Gotta go now. Time to start crawling. Get to crawl over the, the glass walkway, though. <laughs> this is neat. Penguin Playground continues outside. Let's see what they're doing out here. All right. That's eating and all sting rights that do make their way around the wall to you. All the sting rights in this exhibit are safe to touch as their barbs have been trimmed. It feels a little slimy, super smooth maybe. Very interesting. Some of you, especially in Florida, have seen megalodon teeth on display for various reasons. Uh, fossilized megalodon teeth pop up in the spring sometimes and they're hunted and they're very valuable. This is what the whole mouth of the megalodon shark looked like. It could eat me in one swoop or bite, whatever. Glass bottom boat adventure. You can get on and pulls you around this large aquarium. I passed on the glass bottom boat adventure. 
I think we're able to see as many fish as we need to see without getting that one. Our time at the Ripley's Aquarium is coming to an end, but not before. We visit the gift shop and see what they have. Uh, probably the coolest Christmas tree I have ever seen. I'm not a big fan of these plush octopus, octopi on here, but I love the tree. I've never seen a tie-dye Christmas tree before. The gift shop is quite large, lots of things. Is that a Norwal? A psychedelic Norwal? Is that what you call that? I think that Norwal got into the magic puff. That's something strange there. This gift shop has everything. They have mermaids even. Mermaids don't even really exist. Or do they? Do mermaids exist? Who knows? Some say they do. Some say they do. I didn't see one on display here in the aquarium though, so I'm doubting that mermaids actually do exist. That's pretty cool. Shark teeth. Worst candy of all time. Who's with me? I knew one person that liked those peanuts and it was my dad. I don't think I've met anybody else in my entire life that likes those things. Cool shot glasses with people's names on them. Let's see where Drayton is. D C D R D David D C D. No, no Drayton. It's a very mermaid heavy place. For being a mythical creature, there's a lot of mermaids in this gift shop at the aquarium. Mermaids do kind of exist if you've ever been to Wikiwachi Springs in Florida. There's a picture on my Instagram way back in the history of Instagram with me at the Wikiwachi enjoying the mermaid show. So they do exist. Kind of. So an interesting hat there. They do sell megalodon teeth here, another shark's teeth. You can see. $40 for that size right there. It's this one. Quite expensive. Where there are mermaids, there are pirates. There's some pirate stuff here too. Well, the Ripley's gift shop is full of all the things I thought it would be. You know, lots of books for kids and trinkets and clearly a lot of mermaid stuff here. This has been a great adventure into the aquarium. Friends, thanks for joining me today at Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies. I appreciate it. If you like what you're seeing here, hit like, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on any of these adventures when I post them. And I'll see you in the next video. Check this out. This is a gigantic slice of a sequoia tree. It's born in the year negative 550. It's 550 BC. It's a long time ago. It was bigger than the space shuttle and just a tad shorter than the Statue of Liberty.